Hi everyone, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to go over bladder infections in the doggy. Alright guys, I'm going to go over three steps today. What the pet owner sees at home, how I go about diagnosing a bladder infection, or UTI, in a doggy, and how we go about treating it once it's been diagnosed. Most owners tend to notice that their doggy needs to use the bathroom more frequently. Either the owner is being woken up in the middle of the night, or the dog is going to the back door throughout the entire day to get outside. When they use the bathroom, they may only urinate a small amount compared to a nice normal voided sample. When they urinate, the urine may have an abnormal smell or color, or it may have blood in it. Some owners say that their dogs have having accidents in the house even. Bladder infections are more common in female dogs compared to male dogs. Any kind of stray from the normal that is consistently present should be addressed. This is when I shine. It's my turn to figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get a urine sample. There's a couple ways to get urine. You can walk the doggy outside and get urine in a bowl. That's the old school method and it still works for a lot of, a lot of cases. I'm not a huge fan of it because when the doggy urinates, you know, we get, we get contamination possibly from, from the urethra and then you also get contamination possibly from the bowl. It's, it's just not perfect. What's perfect, in my opinion, or darn close to perfect, is getting it with a needle. So I'll take an ultrasound and I'll, I'll put that around the dog's belly and I'll use a nice long needle and we'll do something called a cystocentesis. And that needle slides in and I look at the ultrasound and I put it right in the bladder and I pull my urine back and boom, I got a perfect, clean, sterile sample. And if there's bacteria in that sample, it's not from the bowl, it's from the bladder. Now that we have our urine, we're gonna run it through a urinalysis machine. It's super quick, and it gives you a really good idea of the health of the urine. It's gonna throw things out there like, is there protein, is there glucose, are there bacteria, are there bladder cells? It's gonna give you a really good idea of how healthy the bladder is. And if there's bacteria from a urinary tract infection or a bladder infection, you will see that on the urinalysis. Now, you can definitely use that to diagnose a bladder infection. However, that doesn't tell me what kind of bacteria it is or what's the best antibiotic to pick from. So if we're able to, we like to do a urine culture. We'll package that thing up and send it off to the lab and we'll get it back in a few days and the lab will grow the bacteria, tell us what kind it is and tell us which antibiotic to pick off the shelf to be the most successful in treating the bladder infection. Okay, now that we've diagnosed it, that rolls me in my final step as a veterinarian. I'm gonna treat it. And I just mentioned earlier with the culture, we're gonna pick an antibiotic that's the most appropriate for the bladder infection. Based on what your veterinarian finds in the urinalysis and or the urine culture, they will decide which antibiotic to pick from and for how long. Most veterinarians will also want to resample the urine at a later date to make sure the antibiotic worked and that the bladder is clean. As always guys, if your pet is sick, please go see your local veterinarian. This material is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes.